representing moderation by regression lines in a scatter plot in SPSS. The SPSS output screen shows us the main results of a regression analysis, predicting attitude towards smoking from exposure to an anti-smoking campaign, the respondent's smoking status, the interaction of the two variables, and contact with smokers. The unstandardized coefficients are rather difficult to interpret, so it's very helpful to create a scatter plot with different regression lines for different values of the moderator. In our example, smoking status is the moderator. It's a categorical variable with two values, non-smokers versus smokers. So let's have a look at the non-smokers first. We must reconstruct the regression equation, as I've done here. Attitude is the constant, plus the effect of exposure, plus the effect of smoker dummy, plus the effect of the interaction. And remember, the interaction was just the product of the exposure and smoker variable. And finally, the effect of contact with smokers. For non-smokers, let's just copy the equation and then enter the values for non-smokers. Non-smokers score zero on the smoker dummy variable. So I plug in zero here. I plug in zero here. Multiplying something by zero yields zero. So we can just eliminate this part. And then we have attitudes predicted by exposure and contact. But we only have one X variable, so we must get rid of contact. Now what do we do? Usually we plug in the average value here. And the average value for contact with smokers is 5.09, as we can see from the descriptive statistics. So I just plug in that value here. And now I have the equation that I need for the non-smokers. Let's create a scatter plot. Under graphs, legacy dialogues, scatter plot, a simple scatter will do. Exposure is our predictor, so we put it on the horizontal axis. Attitude is our outcome variable, we put it on the y axis. Our moderator is a categorical variable, so we can use it to color the dots in the scatter plot. That's it. Let's paste and run. And here we have the scatter plot. Non smokers are blue and smokers are green. If we want to add the regression line for non smokers, we have to open the chart editor. Double click the graph. Now we can add a regression line with this option add a reference line from equation. And I have to include the equation here. So let's have a look. Our equation is minus 0.087 for the constant, plus minus 0.118 times the variable on the horizontal axis, which is x. So x stands for exposure here, plus 0.52 times 5.091. That is the effect of an average score on contact with smokers. Let's apply. Let's color the lines, make it blue, just like the blue dots, and close. And here we are. The blue line is the regression line for non-smokers. And if you pay attention, if you look carefully, you can see that it is you know, quite through the middle of the cloud of blue dots. Now, in a similar way, we can include the regression line for smokers. Let's close this one. And first, reconstruct the regression equation for smokers. I'll just copy the old one again. Now, smokers score 1 on the smoker dummy variable. So I plug in 1 here, and I plug in 1 here. And then, as before, I will use the average value of contact with smokers. And now I have an equation predicting attitude from exposure. But there's still a problem because exposure appears twice and it may appear only once. So I have to collect the two effects of exposure 
into one effect. Let's copy and then say, well, first of all, multiplication by one doesn't change anything, so I can take that away and I can take this one away. Next, I take this term and I put it next to the other effect of exposure and then I can just, you know, collect the two within parentheses and remove exposure here. Right, so what you see here is that for smokers, the total effect of exposure is minus 0.11 plus minus 0.33. So this is the equation that we can use to create a regression line for the smokers. Of course, we can simplify it further, but let's not do that. I'll add another line. And this time it is minus 0.087 plus, I'll just use the parenthesis instead of calculating the result, this is the total slope for our x variable exposure and it have to add the average for smokers and the effect of average score on contact with smokers. All right, let's apply. Let's color this line green. And now we have a scatter plot with two regression lines. And it's very easy to see that for smokers, the green line, the slope is more negative than for non-smokers, the blue line. So for smokers, exposure decreases the attitude towards smoking more quickly, more strongly than for non-smokers.